everybody. So bear with my voice. I just got up, but I wanted to film a, a beauty video because I haven't lately and I just wanted to get one up for you all. But today I'm going to do my current foundation routine and I haven't done one of these, but since I've been loving my routine and how it looks after it's done, I thought, well, why not show you all? So, I'm just going to do a talk through video that way you all can see and know what products I'm using. But first off, I'm just going to clip my hair up because can't have that in a face. I'm going to be putting my primer on and when I'm doing my foundation when I want it to stay on all day I definitely use a primer and the one I'm using is my hard candy primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. After I've got my primer done then I'm going to go in with my foundation and my main thing in my foundation routine is my brush and it is my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 and I talked about this in my small Sigma haul but seriously people have talked about this on YouTube and they are right this brush does make a difference it blends it out it doesn't make the foundation splotch at all. It just it is amazing. So then I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 in Soft Honey. And I'm going to do about one and a half pumps. And I'm just going to apply that. And I'm going to start on one side of my face. What I do is I like to pat it just to get the foundation where I want it and then I like to go in circular motions just to uh, buff it out to get that airbrushed look. I don't know if the camera's picking it up that much but this foundation is a little bit darker than my neck or my face just because my whole body is a lot darker than my actual face. I don't know why, that's just how my face is. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side, pat it, and then go in circular motions. And I always drag on my neck, because we can't have two colors, girl. Then we're going to get our forehead and nose. Okay, after I've got my foundation on, I'm actually not going to set it with a powder because any winter I am extremely dry and when I add powder over my foundation, it just makes me look even worse. So then I'm going to go on to my concealer and you all are going to be so surprised. I'm trying a new concealer and this is the Fresh Complexion by CoverGirl. And actually, um, the girl I watch, Allison Loves JB, she uses this all the time and said it's her Holy Grail concealer. Since her concealer is always flawless, I thought, why not give it a try? And it is amazing. And this is in the color Creamy Natural. And it is just amazing. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Sorry about going crazy with it, but... My under eyes are scary, so that's what 
let's hold it in. Then we're going to put a little bit on the nose. And I like to do it on a cupid's bow. Then I'm going to blend it in with my ring finger. Um, you can use a brush, but I like to use my ring finger just because I feel like the warmth of your fingers kind of blends it into your skin. And also, they say to use your ring finger because it is the lightest um, finger when pressing. Does that make any sense? And then I'm also going to rub it on my eye. I do this sort of as a primer for my eye. Just as like one less step when doing my eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to go on to the other side to even that out. Also, if like I had any um, blemishes, I normally would do the concealer under my foundation, but right now I don't have as many and they're not as big, so I didn't have to apply any. Okay, then we're just going to blend that out. Okay. Now that I have my concealer on, then I'm going to definitely set that because that is one thing I hate when it moves is my concealer. And I definitely don't want it to settle in any fine lines in my face. So next I'm using my Airspun by Cody. This is the translucent powder. I always use a translucent powder when I'm setting my concealer because I don't want it to be any darker than it needs to be. So then I'm using my Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to pat, definitely pat that on. And this is just going to set it, make it look a little bit more matte and a little more airbrushed. And I'm also going to apply that where I put it on my nose, here in my cupid's bow. Then after I've gotten that done, I always like to set my foundation with a setting spray and this is the Urban Decay Chill. So then I'm just going to spritz. And after I spray this, um, you definitely want it to soak in because it's going to be a little bit wet when you first spray it. But I like to like maybe do my eyebrows at this time. That way, you know, you're not messing up your face and that gives it time to set in. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows and be right back. And now that I've got my brows done, I'm just going to quickly show you how I do my bronzer, blush, and highlight. Just because in case you were curious, since it's kind of weird just having a blank face. But um, the bronzer I've been going back to is my Hula by Benefit. But my contouring brush is the Small Contour F05 by Sigma. And again, these brushes just make a difference and I'm just going to pat that in and apply and after I apply it I like to sort of go in circular motions or up and down just to blend the contour out and it totally makes a difference because you can't see any harsh lines when doing that so then I'm going to go in with the other side and I also apply it on my temples and then the top of my forehead and I just drag it down then I also put it on the or on the sides of my nose under my nose and also on the jawline and drag it down after I've contoured I'm going in with my blush my Real Techniques blush brush and my Milani Baked Eyeshadow in Must Have Fuchsia. And I'm just going to apply that right over my contour. Okay, I'm so sorry. My camera must just hate me this morning. But... I used my Stila Liquid Luminizer on my the top of my cheekbones. 
um, on the bridge of my nose and also on my cupid's bow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to get this video up since I've been loving my foundation routine lately and I thought I'd share it with you all. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below on other video suggestions you might want. Thank you again.